So basically, here are some interesting things that didn't really fit into the space race video. The Cold War was a serious time when two superpowers faced off against each other in a decades-long struggle for supremacy. Both sides were keen to come up with intricate ideas on how to strategically widen their influence in the world, inventing dangerous and extremely complex contraptions and ideas the kinds you couldn't even imagine created by the most brilliant minds of the time. So let's start with chickens sitting on bombs to keep them warm. Blue peacock? No, not this. This was a British weapon that proposed using live chickens to keep landmines warm underground. The idea was for the bomb to be left unattended so that it could be set off with an 8-day timer or just detonated by wire. However, British engineers didn't know how to address the extreme cold of the North German plane. Yeah, this one kinda baffles me, cause if anyone, it's British people who should understand cold and harsh environments. So they came up with a genius plan to either wrap bombs in blankets or keep live chickens with them to keep them warm. To be fair, this weapon was never actually used, but just imagine if it was. Next we got the Bat Bomb, a personal favorite of mine, a weapon that the United States developed during World War II and later adapted for use in the Cold War. The Bat Bomb was essentially just what it sounds like, a bomb filled with bats. The idea behind this weapon was to release a swarm of bats over a city with each bat carrying a small explosive device. The bats would then roost in buildings all over the city and when the explosives went off, the whole place would light up the night sky. Animal cruelty at its finest. The project was eventually scrapped because, well, it turned out that bats are really hard to control. The initial tests involved training bats to fly to a specific target, but the bats just kept flying away. The researchers then decided to put the bats into a hibernation state before releasing them, but this just made the bats really sleepy. So yeah, releasing a bunch of sleepy bats with bombs tied to them to a city. Great idea. Hey, remember about all that animal cruelty? Well, I present to you the Acoustic Kitty. In the 1960s, the CAA came up with the idea of implanting a microphone and a transmitter into a cat and then setting it loose in a target's house or office. The idea was that the cat would be able to eavesdrop on conversations and transmit the information back to its handlers. So you know, I was leaking the top secret documents when... Anyway, so I was leaking the top secret documents and she was like... <laughs> Seriously though, I'm not sure how they thought it would work. Like genuinely, how likely do you think it is that top secret Russian agents will be so kind-hearted to let a random street cat in their house? Well, you know, Russians might be our enemies, but they're not kitty-hating monsters. And if you have one, you'll know that cats, similarly to bats, are hard to control. And you would think that this would be the cause behind why this project didn't work. But nope, not even close. See, the first test run ended when the cat was hit by a taxi as soon as it was released. During the second test run, the cat made it to the target's house, but as soon as it stepped out into the street, it was promptly run over by a Soviet car. The project was scrapped soon after, probably because of these darn cars being everywhere. Moving on to the Davy Crockett, a nuclear bazooka. Yep, a bazooka that fired a nuclear warhead. The vision behind this weapon was that soldiers would carry these things into battle and use them to take out enemy tanks or bunkers. The problem, of course, was that detonating a bunch of nukes a few hundred feet away from your own team means that they die too, because it's a freaking nuke. I mean, the radiation alone would make the battlefield unbearable, not even mentioning the massive craters everywhere. Thankfully, it was never used in combat. We also have the SADM, or Special Atomic Demolition Munition. This was essentially a nuclear backpack. The idea was that soldiers would carry these things behind enemy lines and then use them to take out strategic targets like bridges or tunnels. Again, kids, can you spot the problem here? Yeah, that's right, it's freaking nukes we're talking about here. The SADM was also never used in combat. Say, what comes to mind when you hear the phrase gay bomb? If your answer is a weapon that the United States tried to develop that would turn enemy soldiers into homosexuals, thus distracting them from fighting, you are correct. Then there was Project Pigeon, which aimed to create a missile guidance system that was controlled by trained pigeons. The pigeons would peck at the screen to guide the missile towards its target. The project was never fully implemented because pigeons are not very good at targeting missiles. How did they even think that? <sighs> never mind. And let's not forget about the multiple nations attempt to create a flying tank. A tank that could fly. 
The idea was to create a tank with wings that could take off and land vertically, allowing it to bypass enemy defenses and attack from unexpected angles. Unfortunately, the project was scrapped because the crew would have to be dropped separately and it would take a lot of time for them to meet up. And I would also say that tanks are maybe a little too heavy to fly, but that's just my personal fat phobic opinion. Now to be fair, Soviets actually achieved something a little bit similar to this by attaching tanks to bomber planes and then dropping them like a few meters above the ground. And if by now you're thinking, no way these are actually real. Yeah, I thought that too, but somehow they are. Google it. So yeah, don't know what else to say except pretty stupid, isn't it? Anyway, subscribe, like, and share it to your group chat. It will be very appreciated.